G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. This is my second video on the construction of my 32 line MBTV Nipco Disc Mechanical TV camera. The um, construction is certainly taking shape. Um, I've been doing a fair bit of work on getting it all together. Um, so far I've um, it's pretty much, I guess, 75% done. Anyway, um, I've, I've uh, glued the seam out lens onto the front of the enclosure. Um, I've mounted the little Nipco disc scanner inside the other part of the enclosure mounted on its uh, CD drive motor and of course at the back is where I'm going to be mounting the image pickup device before I get to that I've um, also sprayed this I've also sanded down this um, enclosure which is a a um, pack where you put about 10 CDs in um, I've, I've um, sanded it down and have um, spray painted it black so it will completely block out light well won't quite because you know, um, um, because it is still kind of translucent but should um, any more light need to be blocked out, I'll put another layer or two of um, black spray paint on. Anyways, um, so yeah, going back to the area where the image will be picked up. Um, as mentioned in the earlier video, I'm going to be using a light-dependent resistor. And um, this is the light-dependent resistor which I decided to mount inside an old TV tuner um, thumb wheel. What I'm using is um, around the uh, light dependent resistor is silver cellophane, which I'm kind of hoping will uh, bounce off um, the light that's, that comes in around the edges to the light dependent resistor as the light dependent resistor is a little, a little bit smaller than the area that's going to be scanned of the image. Anyway, is that, this is the material I'm using, um, chrome cellophane. But anyhow, I don't know how it's going to work but let's hope Let's hope it does work. And of course this is the circuitry to um, to modulate the light into electrical impulses to be recreated on a NIPCO uh, mechanical televisor. And this is the circuit diagram that I'm working off. Which is a very simple circuit, just simply a transistor and a and a light dependent resistor and a couple a normal resistor in a variable pot and five volts of power and the video out. That's all it pretty much is. Anyways, um yeah, this so this uh this camera is certainly taking shape and I should hopefully get constructed by tonight perhaps and it'll be ready for testing and yeah I don't know if it's going to work or not but I can only give it a go I'll be at least happy if um, I get something displaying on the screen if I shine a torch through the lens through the Nipco disc to the light dependent resistor if I can see that, that um, I'm getting something on, on screen, I know that I'm at least part way there. Anyhow, um, to finish up, I'm going to um, power.
power up this motor and show the NIP code disconnection inside the enclosure. So getting a 9 volt battery and uh, it's, it's going to be a bit tricky as uh, I've got to somehow make the sit in there without solar connection. So there we have the NIP code disk in action. Um, hold on, just disconnected. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky seeing I'm not solid the wires or connect, have a, make a solid connection of the wires to the battery. Um, God. Uh, There we go. Anyways, um, the disc is spinning really fast right now. As you can faintly see the window there, that's where the image is going to be picked up. The image is going to be focused from the lens onto the disc. The image is going to be picked up through the, through the back there onto the image pickup device to light the pendant resistor. That's my NBTV camera in progress of construction. This is Troy from the Troy's Visual Lights channel signing out. Oh, before I go, um, yeah, I forgot to show the camera all assembled up. So here, yeah, I've connected the the lens um, and part of the enclosure to the other part of the enclosure housing the Nipkov disc. So yeah, um, so yeah, it all fits quite nicely in a neat little package, and and um, yeah, when I mount the the image pickup device, it'll be mounted like so. And circuitry, I'll have to decide where I'm gonna stick all that, but but this is how the camera will look pretty much when it's all assembled and this of course will be connected to this um, signal control circuit and this will be the video output. Anyway, let's try from Toys Visual Arts channel signing out.